Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and look at this beautiful design, this agenda slide that we will create today. So before we start the tutorial, please subscribe to our channel and join the membership. Also hit the bell icon for video notification. So to start with the video, you have to insert this rectangle layer, rectangle shape and right click it go to format click on the picture and insert this picture here i have downloaded this picture because i liked it but you can use as per the presentation requirement now we will duplicate this image here and fill the solid color and in the solid color we will fill black color Now increase the transparency so that the image is kind of visible in the background like this. I need to adjust the brightness of my screen. I'm just adjusting the transparency here to get the perfect look. Now insert a text box here and write agenda change the font to Montserrat or let's use this font increase the size here and where should we place it okay it will look good here Now increase the transparency so that it is visible but it is very light. Now insert this line, place it like this, add white color, increase the transparency again. Now insert the line shape again and place it like this, again add white color. I mean increase the transparency of this line now this slide is taking shape and the design is looking much better now now insert the text box and start write the points of your agenda so agenda here will be different for you I'm just writing some points here like objective proposed projects or activities portfolio case studies gallery conclusion so uh, it depends upon the subject of your presentation like similarly you have to change the background as well currently my theme is kind of you know for NGO for NGOs or for the institutions that work for the kids or this kind of slide can also be used for you know some creative concept where we want to showcase the beauty of a concept so similarly you can use the image for example if it's a highly corporate presentation or a real estate presentation then you can use a cityscape in the background and for a food sector a nice food dressing or some image of pudding will also look good in the background but currently the concept is kind of dark I want to focus on the black so that's why I've used this image so as you can see I've placed the agenda now it's the time for some branding here so I'm writing creative winners business presentations and in the meantime you can do one thing you should Hit the subscribe button you should hit the like button 
and you should also join the membership of this channel because the more you join the more I will feel motivated and that's the support I need also you should hit the bell icon as well so till now you can see that it's not a complex slide it's quite easy I have pasted two layers of shapes one with the image one with the black color increase the transparency and I've written some information over it like agenda some pointers and some branding that's it also I have placed two lines one below the agenda and one I have placed vertically so now I think I should place it towards the left a bit the agenda so these are some formatting things and alignment I always focus on alignment because that is one thing which makes any presentation look good if you think the design of a presentation is not good and you have to present it somehow so you can what you can do is you can at least align the items on the slide so that will also make your presentation look much better so now comes the creative part place six to seven lines like this so we will the plan is to create a kind of grid here also you can download some grid PNG from Google images but those will be copyrighted so that's why I am I usually you know design the grids so I have placed it like this and what we can do here is we will duplicate it and place it vertically as well for that we have to rotate it either towards the left or towards the right now place it like this so I'm focusing on how to place the grid here So you can apply your creative brains, you can run the creative forces in your mind. You can also place it at 45 degrees, that will also look very good. So it's totally up to you. You can also place triangles here, small triangles. So anything which is kind of, you know, uh, makes it look good, any shape combination. Or even you know you can add those hexagons as well that will also look very good here so I'm trying and testing few things here like I'm trying to visualize how these two grids will look here I think it should look good now I think we should place some small squares each square represent one item of the agenda so that's the idea here so we have six items in the agenda so we will place here six squares like this randomly mm, there's not any logic here I'm just placing it randomly similarly place the fourth square then fifth and sixth so it's a kind of easy job no rocket science required and did I tell you guys that my silver play button is arriving 
and because I have crossed 1 lakh subscribers, 100,000 subscribers I have completed. So thanks to you guys, because of you, I am getting my silver play button and it will reach me soon and I will post a video about it very soon. So I will keep you guys updated about it. So I place these squares here. So I have put some extra squares here. Just wanted to see how it will look. I'll remove the extras. So let's create some animation, select agenda, apply fly in animation, then select these six steps again, apply fly in animation, then select the branding text, again apply the fly in animation. Now select all the animations, select effects option, smooth and OK, start with previous, increase the duration to one point or 1.75 now let's start delaying increase the delay on every item so here you don't have to go what I'm go by what I'm doing here you can try and test here you can speed up the things or you can slow down the things you can increase the delay decrease the delay try it and you will get a nice uh, hands-on experience about PowerPoint presentation animations. Um, if you look at the animations on presentations, it looks like these are very complex, but trust me, these are very easy. Microsoft had, has designed the presentation in such a way to make it very easy for the users. Now I'm repeating the pulse effect on the grid. I've applied the pulse effect on the grid and it, as you can see the grids are slightly you know uh, have that pulse effect. Similarly we will apply the pulse effect on these squares as well. I'm thinking what else we can do here. Let's try this effect and we have to increase the duration and let's repeat it until the end of the slide so that it will run in loop. Now add delay on every square because then it will create a very nice effect because each square will start animating at you know um, different time. They will not start at the same time but they will all have some uh, 0.25 seconds difference. I have selected all the agenda items and have applied the pulse effect on the agenda items as well. What will happen when they will appear on the screen? They will have a very nice pulse effect. So we have come to the end of our video. So I hope you like the design of this video. You like this tutorial and if you think I've done a good job here then you should subscribe to our channel hit the like button hit the bell icon share your thoughts in the comment section and keep supporting our channel please join the membership as well if you can 
so here we are looking at the final result which is looking really awesome you should download this template from the cheat drive link given in the video description but it would be great if you can also watch this video from start to end and learn it then that will give me much more satisfaction that I helped you learn something so you guys have always been awesome so thank you everyone thanks for watching bye bye peace have a nice day